right now. So, let's talk about it since you segued right into it. A lot of shows had to be stopped or canceled tapings due to this. Now, on the uh, thing that I have showing right now is just a small sample size. Card Sharks, stop taping. Love Island's on hold. Yeah, Love Island is on hold. That is both the uh, U.S. and fr French version. Mm-hmm. The Bachelorette is on hold. Yep. And Sh we were supposed to uh, start live shows on American Idol uh, next week. Those are on hold. And what they've done is they've cut the Monday airings so they can uh -huh. artificially lengthen the time that they have to get to new episodes. However... That's going to change because today um, President Trump has announced that he's going to keep the social distancing guidelines in place until April 30th. So until the end of next month. Mm hmm. So this is a good this is going to stop is going to stop daytime soon. And Family Feud, the daytime version. Which uh, started taping was rich, then decided to tape without an audience, has now stopped taping. So they only have, like, what, 30, 40 episodes in the can? Just about, yeah. Hmm. Which, because of how they uh, air their shows, they only have enough episodes for... Three weeks. Yeah. If that. So let's take a look at other shows... Um, that have stopped taping, and I'm cribbing this from Game Show Newsnet, or at least Thank most you. of it. Hey, what better way to get your source of news? Of Game Show News, go to GameShowNewsNet.com. Right. See, this show's all about plugs. So many plugs. <laughs> uh, Great British Baking Show, they were getting ready to take their lump season. I could be wrong on this, because... Uh, yeah, they're delaying filming. Yeah. We talked with about... That, yeah, go ahead. With uh, new judge, or new host, Matt Lucas. That show is gonna die a death uh, without Mel and Sue. Well, it hasn't died yet, and there's still mm -hmm. a cult, there's still a cult following, so... It's one of those shows that can go on forever if it has to, so... Mm-hmm. Kind of like Bargain Hunt in the UK. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw a joke online, um, when all this news came down, uh, somebody quipped that the fine folks of Bargain Hunt have, like, a boatload full of flash drives with unaired episodes of Bargain Hunt. From years of tapings with Tim Wanakot, Charlie Ross... And everyone else whose names I'm forgetting. Like I said, they can run that show into the ground and nobody will notice. Exactly. Uh, America's Got Talent was doing auditions. And those were. Were, uh, were cut short as of March 14th. Mm -hmm. But that shows for the summer. We don't know if they're going to start doing uh, closed... Uh, well, they're not going to do it. They're not doing anything else, but they they tried to run an abbreviated schedule, but they went on hiatus, and we don't know if they're going to tape any more of the remaining uh, tryouts uh, once this all blows over. I'm secretly hoping mid to late May. Just about. Uh, that seems to be. I don't know if there's a. I don't know if there's a set schedule. There is. I mean, these things. I mean, th this thing is very. This thing's been very, very fluid. Yep. Um, American Ninja Warrior, I don't see it happening this year. Might want to shelve that for winter. Tape over the summer, air it in the winter. Yeah. At and Deck, Saturday Night Takeaway in the UK. Um, they said they were doing stuff but without an audience. And some adaptations were to be made into the show. 
Um, we don't know what else is happening. Right. Uh, the voice, they're pre-recorded all the way to the knockouts. Yeah, so they're good until the end of April. Yep. Then we have Countdown, which is going to film uh, behind closed doors. I don't know if they've changed that yet, but I'm thinking they probably have due to the age oh. of a lot of the contestants. Um, then the uh, apps have had a, a beating. Yeah, um, uh, one app that is pretty much shuttered until this is blown over is Reward the Fan, which makes perfect sense because... Yeah. The, pr the prize for Reward the Fan? Sporting tickets events. To, tickets to uh, events. No, no, no events. No tickets. No tickets. No show. Yeah, no show. Yep. They tried, I think, for the first week of it, but then they realized this wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, reward the not reward the fan. Uh, Swagbucks has been doing the work from home edition of Swagbucks Live with Hal, the producer, pretty much one one man one man banding it. And I have to say this: uh, the game game show news that does the best and worst of everything at the end of the year. Uh huh. Yes, we do. Dan's probably going to get my Unsung Hero Award of the Year. Hal. His name is Hal. Hal is going to get my Unsung Hero so of the Year Award. Dan? Oh, Dan. Uh, who the hell is Dan? Hold on, let me look at the dictionary. Who the hell is Dan? Looking at the dictionary, folks. She's looking at the dictionary. Yep. Dictionary Corner with a dictionary that I got at a Webster's Two New World New Riverside Dictionary from, like I got like in the early nineties, early to mid nineties. Webster's New World Dictionary. It's the only dictionary I use. Yep. Well, that's not true. But. To add on top of that, more news in regards to these canceled shows. Wheel of Jeopardy have five weeks left in taping. Just about, Sh yeah. Shut down. Mm-hmm. So these might be uh, shows that tape right away, but then they get aired in, what, July? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time this has happened to a syndicated game show. You remember back in 2002, summer of 2002? Oh, yeah. Where um, you had a whole boatload of shows that had to hold episodes for a couple of weeks. Yeah, 9 and they, Yeah, and then they aired over the summer. And in particular, Hollywood Squares uh, basically aired the final week with Whoopi over the summer. Yep. I remember that. And then you have uh, Price is Right. Still has a few weeks left in taping. It's been rough these past... A rough 2020 for Price is Right. Yep. It's been it's been a rough 2020 for Price is Right. You had the... Uh, you had... Uh, Drew's ex is dying. Drew's ex dying and... They had to pretty much hold off on taping because of that. Now they got to hold off on taping because of this. Mm -hmm. And that, and another another show that's had a really rough go at it has been um, Wheel of Fortune with uh, Pat's Pat's uh, medical escapades. Yep. And now this. Mm -hmm. It's been a it's been a really rough year. For uh, game shows all around, hasn't it? Yeah, for it? the two stalwarts, yeah. 
also sur- oh one other thing survivor yeah that's that's being held for the time being yep and have you watched winners at war i have and honestly I, I, i'm still waiting for the payoff point as it is i mean it's good to see yeah. all these uh people come together they've all won and and it was like they've all won and we want to see who's the ultimate winner but think of it is you have no no one really breaking out and everyone who's tried to break out it seems to have backfired spectacularly as it were except for see, one person who who's that Denise. who would that be now yeah she's she's been pretty much flying under the radar hasn't she yeah, but she broke out in a big way a couple of weeks ago when uh, she uh, took out Sandra with her own idol. Yeah. That's gangster. That is gangster. Mm-hmm. So, my feeling is unless something happens, my money's on Denise. And this will solidify her, not Sandra, as the true queen of Survivor. I can see that happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Sandra, because of that, Sandra quit. Yeah, I saw that. That was that was something we talked about on uh, WLTI this last week. It's like, okay, Denise took Sandra out with her own with her own idol, and then Sandra decided, and, and it's not just Denise's. It's not wholly and solely Denise's fault, you know. Yeah. Because Sandra was basically frozen out by her tribe. If you saw, like, who they were picking to stay in the, uh, stay on the, uh, side, stay on the sidelines, as it were. Yep. Uh, I think she was the, the queen of the bench. Yeah. But yeah, um, interesting season but this to me this feels like a, a game changer season except without the uh somebody doing something horribly horribly terrible no that's i'm sure that's on its way soon mm-hmm. but on the flip side of all of this coronavirus stuff we're going to talk about something interesting shows that the networks already have in the chamber even before the season, the TV season started. So, especially the Robin Game shows where they have stuff ready to air. Now, we talked about the surprise uh, launch of The Wall, but we thought that as burnout rather than coronavirus, and now it's seeping lo- seeing like a, a really good idea. Well, The Wall's got, what, 20 episodes? Yeah, the wall's got twenty episodes. If they wanted to air ten as a season and ten as another season, nobody would know the difference. Uh, but but yeah, it still screams as a burn off for me because mm-hmm. look at what the sh- the wall is up against. Uh, CBS has God friended me. Uh, ABC has American Idol and Fox has the, the only- Simpsons. Yeah. So yeah, it still screams like it's a burn off, but not really a burn off. Maybe a pseudo burn off. Right. And this is what I kind of wanted to bring up because networks have shows that are already in the can ready to go even before they started taping the new set of shows. But they don't have a way anywhere to air them. Now with this, it was shows being uh, canceled or can't air because of the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Now we're just have shows that they can do that with. Uh, we'll start with Fox, which is the biggest one. Because they relied heavily on sports. They don't have that anymore. And they have a season of Hell's Kitchen. They have Ultimate Tag ready to go. I don't uh-huh. know if they have Spin the Wheel taped. I don't. I don't know. If, I haven't heard anything about uh, spin the wheel taping or going into another season even. Oh, they have beat Shazam taped. 
Beach Shazam is taped, and they can run that over the summer, maybe yeah. earlier if need be. And with the with this case, I think there would be a good time over the summer to air those three shows. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And now we get to ABC. They have Don't. Which they, I don't think they've uh, I don't think they've uh, gotten to work like on that, or maybe if they did, it was all hush hush and under the radar. But well, they have taped so. Okay. So they have episodes in the can. They could air that over the summer because it looks like we're not going to get card sharks. Um. I I I think press your I think I actually think press your luck is done. Yeah, press your luck taped. Match game, um... I believe match game was... I mean, I believe uh, match game held a few episodes, so they could air those. Yep. Supermarket Sweep has not taped. No. So there's a time slot for that. So there's a time slot open because of that, because I, I have a feeling that was going to replace Family Food Fight. I had a feeling... I had that same feeling. And... So don't I would think would slot right in. Yeah, you could put don't uh, after press your luck. Mm-hmm. It would. I can't guarantee it would be compatible, but again, you can't guarantee anything. These are the times we live in right now. Yep. And we also need to talk about CW. Oh really? Yeah. What does the CW have? Uh, whose line is it anyway? Which uh, tonight, as we record this, is launching its new season. Mm-hmm. And Penn and Teller's fool us. Yeah, I'm wondering how many episodes of that were made. Thirteen. Before. Okay, so. So they have enough for a full season. They don't have to worry about that. Yep, and I think they also tape. Now, did they tape their April Fool Us Day special yet? I don't know. I think they taped it, I don't know, they usually tape it in February. So they tape everything in February, and February everything was unaffected, so I think they're fine. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah. So, deal. let's make a deal is already taped. Yeah. Let's make a deal is done. Big Brother. Mm. Mm. What? Do, how do you solve that problem, I wonder? If it was between both of us, we know the answer to that. With a sledgehammer and a thousand pounds of dynamite. And Roy Oswald's bulldozer. I just love that story of the White Sox, Roy Oswald. When Chicago had a big snowstorm, but and nobody could get into the training facilities for the White Sox, he owned a bulldozer, just bulldozed all the snow to clear it's out all the spaces. Story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I also want to talk about the cable networks and how they're dealing with this. Um, ESPN is now airing. Classic Monday Night Football episodes. Tonight they aired the Rams Chiefs 2008 Monday Night Football game. 2018 mm-hmm. Monday Night Football game. Which is known for one thing, aside from being one of the greatest shootouts in football in football history. And what would that be? The Booger Mobile. <laughs> nice. You see here, Joe, Patrick Mahomes has fumbled the ball, and fumbling the ball is bad, especially when you're a quarterback. See, you too can be as good as a commentator as Booger McFarlane. No wonder Peyton Manning rejected $50 billion from those schlubs. Would you have taken the $50 million? I don't think so. I would have taken fifty billion. 
because that means I'd be replacing Booker McFarlane. Ah. Work with Joe Tessitore. Warm up for Holy Moly, which has taped, by the way. They taped in January. So, there, so Holy Moly, that's another good one. Thank goodness. They also changed up their format, and I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, GSN, there's a lot of stuff to taped. Uh, Masterminds taped in January, and people... That's pumped... actually premiering on next Monday. Yeah. With a new set and new host. A new set, new host, and a new Mastermind. Yep. So, yeah, new set, of course. You see, you see the you see the ad, the ads you know about it. New host uh, Brooke Burns, late of Dog Eat Dog and the Chase, and uh, the new mastermind, a uh, good friend of the site and friend of ours, Lakitra Pam. Lakitra, yeah, yeah. Lakitra Pam. Yeah, she's a good friend of ours. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you can get an interview with her for uh, we love to inter for we love to interrupt. Well, if any, well, if any of the masterminds are listening, hey, hit me up. Slide into my DMs. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's make this happen. But yeah, I mean, this... I, I don't... I really don't know what to make of this until I actually see it. All that we need to know is, did they change the format? And if they have, then they could have something. If they didn't change the format, then... Mm. Well, that would be akin to just putting a nice little, putting a nice little uh, golden sheen on a big old turd. Mm 